you can add multiple objects to utilize a limited space. This is a limited space, and in this space, I want uh, three objects to be shown. Okay, so I'll add here uh, this order the ID. Make sure I'm going to add. Quantity. Mm -hmm. I can go inside the scatter plot also, and then uh, then yeah. quantity yeah. y axis is uh, size, and then the third one is size. Right? This is order price. So based on that, it is in, uh, you know, shown. Then in the data order ID, I just uh, apply the limitation, which is. Mm -hmm. 200 orders I'm showing over here, right? Okay. And then other I will not show. So other I will not show here. Okay, so these are the first one objects. So I'm not going to give the final touch to these objects because you know how to create these objects, right? Mm -hmm. So this is order. Mm. Or a volume analysis okay fine in the second object which was uh, here mm -hmm. bar chart right the bar chart mm -hmm. i'll uh, just add this so i'll choose the bar one so here i'll choose the bar chart then mm -hmm. product wise okay. Sales. Again, I'll add here the product. The way we are creating the object, uh, same way we'll do, but uh, here one object, uh, one placeholder, we can add multiple objects. Okay. And the patcher is created. Now, this is having some. Uh, The third one is combo chart. Mm -hmm. Month I have added in major mm -hmm. alert number of products in second major alert. Number of uh, customers. Now, mm -hmm. how does this chart look like in the real time? Over here, I can see these individual charts, but instead of creating individual objects from this placeholder only. I could create three objects, right? One is a uh, first one is the bar one. Okay. Scatter plot. Mm -hmm. Then I have a tab control, control here. I'll have okay, the tab control. control so, right? Just like, you know, tab control. If you don't, if you want a more uh, tabs to be here, so mm -hmm. so what we can do, like I will just uh, stretch it a bit so that that will be clearly visible. Yeah. yeah. I've got two tabs, mm -hmm. so I didn't yeah. have to choose this uh, options, right? Right. Tab wise structure, right. I got it. I didn't have to choose the chat types at all. Okay. So instead of scatter plot, you can change the label, and this order wise analysis. And simply okay. remove it. I'll just uh, change the cat plot and uh, over here. Sorry. And here you can set the label. This is so order wise analysis.
Like we have to go to on the chat and change. Yes. Icon, you can show the type of chats will be shown over the icon, along with the icon. Yeah. So the, the tab container itself, you can name it as the title of the object, right? The mm -hmm. object title is product by sales. Mm -hmm. You can remove it and then the, instead of bar chart, you can add a uh, here. Composer also you can change like it. So this is what we call as a container. Right. In order to utilize the space, uh, we can use this container. Over here, I will just uh, take this scatter plot. Now, in the same place, I have three objects. Okay, this is uh, very much useful now. Yeah, That's what yeah. the container. So, I have how many objects on the sheet? Three, four, five, six, and seven. Normally, we were uh, adding four objects in order to uh, utilize this dashboard space. However, by using container, we can add multiple objects here in a dashboard. Okay. All right.